First, you'll want to install the, the plugin for Google Books, which you just look for Google Books, and then you find Google Books. That would normally say install, so install it. Then you go back to your your design tab, and you want to get an input. This is where we will search for the for, search for the books. Search books, and then we're going to want a repeat group, which will show us our search results, which are going to be pulled from the Google API that we just installed. Then you're going to want to, um type of content that would be Google Book. Then for the data source, you're going to want to pull data from that API. So get data from external API, and then the provider will be Google Books. Now it gives you a few options. The general is what we're going to want. You can also do it just for the the title, but I just thought it was easier just to do general. Because if they only know the book by the author, maybe. I don't, I don't know. So, that input search books value is this search right here. That's just what it's called, input search books. So, just use that. Now, you're going to want to be able to know what the search results are saying, so add a text in one of the repeating group boxes, well, the top one, and that will repeat for the rest of these. That's the that's the point of it. Over here it says uh, input dynamic data, which would bring up this. You're going to want the current cells Google book title, you can also add the author, but we'll add that just in a second somewhere else. Now let's just let's just see if that works. So let's put in a book. And there are the search results from the API. So that works. Now we're going to want to do something with that API data. So let's just simply reflect that by bringing out this group. Now this will display the books information when we click on it. How we do that would we'll just get out a few elements. Let's say the photo to be one. So take the preview of the book cover. And oh, first set that group content to be the Google book because then the elements inside of that group will know what it's getting. So for the dynamic image, you're going to want to pull the Google book data from that group, which for this would be the thumbnail of the book. Next, we're going to want the title, so then we know what book it is. And this, yeah, it's probably on the title, but I mean, nice to have it also in text, I suppose. Get the title. Just going to make that slightly larger. So, and then the author, because he probably wants his name on it. Make that a little smaller. As well. There we go. Now let's see if that works. It's not going to work because I didn't set it to work. We're going to first need to take the title and give it a workflow. Now, a workflow is what Bubble uses to, I suppose, line up logic. How we would do that for this instance would be the element action and then display data that you can, the element, since there's only one, will be chose for you, so it would be that group. And then the data that you want to explain will be the current cell, and you can just, uh, I suppose, reset content. I think that will work. Probably. Now, if I search for that book, 
And there it is. That is how you do the the Google API in Bubble. How at least I did it for the the bookkeeper was to I can show you here. Was to instead of display the data, I used the create a new thing, and I used that to create the book. Which the book's data looks like this. It doesn't have to be as, as many elements of that. You could simply just have the 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 title, actually just the the Google book. But I I made it that way, so if if they just want to enter their own book name that's not on the Google Books API, they can still add it. So they're not restricted to just what's on Google Books. So uh, then you would create the new book and then you'd set the, the field for Google Books to equal the current cell. And then this other stuff you can just pull the, the title from the current cells title. That's if there is, it's just how I set it up, that's how that's how I made it work, but of course you can just rely on Google Books if you want to keep it a little bit simpler. But that's how, that's how I did it.